Lamarazine, in, also known as KB2796, is a diphenylpipirazine class L type and T type calcium channel blocker. This drug is currently used clinically for the treatment of migraines, while also being used experimentally for the treatment of glaucoma and optic nerve injury. Solubility Due to its lipophilic nature and small molecular size, lamarazine is able to cross the blood brain barrier. For delivery in aqueous systems, nanoparticle therapy may be used. Along with lipids, lamarazine is soluble in chloroform, methanol, and DMSO. Mechanism of action Lamarazine works as a calcium antagonist by blocking voltage-dependent calcium channels. A study using 3H nitrendapine showed that lamarazine allosterically inhibits binding in calcium channels at a site different than the 1,4-dihydropyridine binding site. However, its antimigraine effects are believed to be due not to the blocking of calcium channels, but to the antagonizing effects of lamarazine on the 5-HT2A receptor. The drug was shown to competitively inhibit binding of 3H spiperone to 5-HT2A receptors, inhibiting the 5-HT-driven release of CA2+. Lamarazine treatment of 5-HT2A expressing cells led to the inhibition of CA2 plus release in response to 5-HT, while CA2 plus release in response to ATP was unaffected. By preventing the release of CA2+, lamarazine prevents serotonin-induced contraction of the basilar artery, which can lead to migraines. Lamarazine has also been shown to possess neuroprotective effects, specifically in the case of retinal damage. Doses of 0.03 mg per kilogram given intravenously as a pretreatment were shown to prevent glutamate-induced neurotoxicity, while also providing protection against NMDA-induced and kinate-induced neurotoxicity. Lamarazine was shown to have little affinity for NMDA or kinate receptors, so its protectivity against neurotoxicity in these cases is believed to be due to the blocking of CA2 plus influx through voltage-dependent calcium channels. By blocking these channels and preventing CA2 plus release, lamarazine increases circulation in the optic nerve head. These effects show that lamarazine may prove to be a useful treatment for ischemic retinal diseases, such as glaucoma. Lamarazine also shows neuroprotective effects against secondary degeneration resulting from injury in retinal ganglion cells. In this case, increased membrane depolarization, in conjunction with the inability of the sodium-calcium exchanger to function due to depleted ATP stores, causes the activation of calcium-dependent signal transduction. These processes lead to cell death through either apoptosis or necrosis. Lamarazine's role in blocking CA2 plus can rescue these cells from death by preventing excitotoxicity. Decreased intracellular calcium also prevents necrosis by decreasing permeability, and apoptotic death is reduced through the reduction of calcium-dependent apoptotic agents. While some calcium channel blockers, such as flunorazine, act on the dopaminergic system, lamarazine is ineffective in vivo at inhibiting the release of dopamine. However, it has been observed to weakly inhibit the binding of 3H spiperone to D2 dopamine receptors in vitro. While researchers are unsure of the reason for this difference, one hypothesis is that the doses administered cannot reach a high enough concentration in the brain to affect D2 receptors. Medical use Lamarazine is typically taken orally in a dose of 2 to 10 mg 2 to 3 times a day, but doses of 20 mg are not uncommon. It is also available in an intravenous solution of lamarazine hydrochloride, but the preferred route of administration, especially for treatment of the optic nerve, is oral. In a clinical study, long-term lamarazine usage was shown to be both safe and effective in the treatment of migraines. However, efficacy of the drug decreases with age, with a significant correlation between age and efficacy at preventing migraine attacks. Efficacies of 47% to 71% have been reported, and gender seems to have no effect on efficacy of the drug. Lamarazine may cause drowsiness and flushing, but it lacks the serious cardiovascular effects and hypotension produced by other calcium antagonists. This is hypothesized to be due to the drug's selectivity for cerebral arteries over peripheral arteries. No other side effects have been reported. 
The acute toxicity for lamarazine in mice was found to be 44 mg per kilogram intravenously, 300 mg per kilogram orally, and over 1,200 mg per kilogram subcutaneously. Overdose can result in seizures or convulsions. The toxicity in humans has not been reported. Pharmacokinetics Administered intravenously in rabbits at a dose of 0.03 mg per kilogram, the drug reached an average peak plasma concentration of 19.5 plus or minus 6.5 nanograms per milliliter. This preparation had been completely metabolized within 60 minutes of administration. When administered to rats at a dose of 5 mg per kilogram, lamarazine reached a C-max of 27.6 nanograms per megaliter and T-max of 90 minutes. In guinea pig and dog aortic membranes, the drug displaced the binding of calcium agonist 3H nitrendapine with an IC50 of 86 nm and a KI of 340 nm. When administered orally to healthy male subjects in 10, 20, and 40 mg doses, lamarazine produced peak plasma levels of approximately equals 7.3, 15.7, and 31.3 ng per milliliter. In a group of 18 healthy adults, 10 mg of lamarazine administered orally had a half-life of 5.48 plus or minus 0.90 hours, with a peak serum concentration C-max, of 9.06 plus or minus 2.46 ng per milliliter. T-max was reported as 2.72 plus or minus 0.91 hours. The IC50 for lamarazine is reported to be 2430.0 nm in humans. The bioavailability of orally administered lamarazine is unaffected by gastric pH. References <laughs>